Say alright, so first and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to your Hawa, Bashem, your Shai, Bashem, Kakurash. We sit among the apostles and elders, agreements on the ruler, or teachers of apostles and shoot, and we see salutations. So the Akamas are pushing on shoot and say, Dean and the out. You know, constantly in season and season, we say, Shallow one. You know, once again, I'm going into some um, scriptures here, and it's basically touching upon that all the scriptures say, um, to not to, to not trust the enemy, you understand? Because again, I was just watching um, some of the comments and some of the things that, that you know, right now, um, with, with Kanye West against the the these these Edomites and them right and um you know all these things is all these things is is all that they show and so forth you know it's all these things is agend agendas and so forth when i last was watching some of the comments from the, from just some common jakes you know that 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 want to um, put this put the two cents inside and some of them are, are, are you know the full the full heartedly behind esau you know they 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 they, they full heartedly back in esau right now one of the things is that when you look at the word enemy, you say a person, who, a person who is actively opposed or hostile to someone or something. And we don't know what Esau is. They, they, they actively oppose hostile to us, to Israel. Now, um, it's a hostile nation or its armed forces, especially in a time of war, it's a hostile nation. Nonetheless, I'm going to go down here a little bit. It's a, um, it's a what is the full meaning of enemy? It's a... They say non plural enemies, a person who feels hatred for, and we know the scriptures talk about um, Esau Edom having that word that perpetual hatred for us. That perpetual, because perpetual means everlasting, you know, all these things, right? So it's a person who feels hatred for, fosters harmful designs against, and we <laughs> and what Sam, what the book of Psalms say, you know. Say or engages in antagonistic activities against another, an adversary or a opponent. Right now, before, it, um, as I mentioned, the Psalms it say it say no plural. It say enemies, a person who feels hatred for. It say fosters harmful design again that perpetual hatred that that they have for us. That's written in scriptures that everlasting hatred that they have for us. Um, let me jump to the next. Let me jump to um, as I mentioned the Psalms right. Jump to the Psalms here, quick. Um, this is Psalms, um, Psalms 83, verse um, Psalms 83. I'll start from verse two. It says, "For lo, thine enemies make it tumult, and and they and they that hate thee have lifted up the head." It said, "They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones." So all these things that they say about our enemy here, the beginning of the meaning of the word enemy, it says a person who feel hatred, which they have. Right, they say fosters harmful designs against, and, and this, this is what the scripture is saying. It says, For lo, thy enemies make it tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up their head. The heat, it said, They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. Crafty counsel, you know, say fosters harmful designs against. So, this is the things that they do. This is what, again, this is what our enemy would do because why they hate here, they don't like it, and we don't know Esau Edom being that main or, or, or main enemy. Right, same as the rest of heathens and so forth, but nonetheless, Esau Edom is, is, is on that pinnacle, you know, they, they're above, right? So it says, um, They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and are consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, Come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. And that is what they did, that is what they do, that's what they did and do, right? So it says, Or engages in agon antagonistic activities against another, an adversary, or an opponent. Right, and that is what that is what our enemy is, and we see that that we know when you look up, you know, even if when you look up history and all this other stuff, you see who is our enemy is, because that is what they did, that hatred, the the the, the design stuff to um um to hurt us and all this other stuff, right? I say for they have consulted together with one consent, they are confed confederate against thee. It say the tabernacles of Edom. The, tab the tabernacles of Edom and the Ishmaelites of Moab and the Hagarines. Now, I wouldn't continue going down, but you get to see what's going on here to who our enemies are. And it starts with the tabernacles of Edom, which is the so-called white man today. Right? They are, they are the top. You know? But they are jakes now. They, they what? The, um, they, 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 they're backing the Jewish community and all this other stuff. 
right? And then knowing the things that they do, they, they do against us, right? Now, let me jump to our scripture here. This is, um, so let me go to this, um, <clears throat> let me go to Surah chapter 12. <clears throat> 12 verse 1. It said, Never trust thine enemy for like as for like as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. So how could you trust the enemy? Right? How could you ever trust the enemy? It, it wouldn't make sense. So he said, Never trust thine enemy for like as iron rusted, so is his wickedness, so his wickedness will never go away. What, what I don't understand what, what make these jakes, you know, I understand, right? Uh, but what make these jakes come to the mind that they feel that, that the wickedness of Esau done away with? No, it's continuing even <laughs> continuing down to the end. The wickedness will never go. So he said, never trust thine enemy for like as an iron rusted, so is his wickedness. And I believe our brother was telling me that when iron rusted, it is rust from inside. <laughs> so he catch where it, he catch where it is, right? He said, though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou had wiped a looking glass. And thou shalt know that his rust had not been altogether wiped away. So that so that hatred, that wickedness that they have for, that, that they do and so forth, them being our enemy, it it will never go. It they will never change. They're just what it is. Came out the womb fighting and we fight down to the end. They say, though he humble himself. And go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. Because that's one of the tactics to to, to 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 make people feel believe that they that they're humble, you know. I say they 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 humble themselves and go crouching, you know, it look like they're backing down, you know, like they're normal and so forth. That is just one of the tactics. It say yet take good heed and beware of him. Because that wickedness it never rusts. It it, it 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 I'm sorry, Salak, that wickedness never go. Just like iron rusted, so is his wickedness, so it will always be there. Right? You see, yet take good heed and beware of him, and thou shalt be unto him as the, as if thou hast wiped a looking glass. Right? And thou and thou shalt know that his rust had not been altogether wiped away. Because it doesn't matter how much you you you, you put um um we just call it paint, adhesive paint and all this other stuff that is try to stop rust. The, the um the iron is still rust because it's rusting from the inside. Right? So you get the drift. You see, see, and thou shalt know that his rust had not been altogether wiped away. So that wickedness is not gone. He is still the enemy and will continue to be your enemy. Nothing changes. But you know, Jake being Jake, you know, this, they just being foolish. You know, loving the enemies. Like how they did in the Maccabees, how they went up and, 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 and so forth. <laughs> It says, verse, uh, verse 12, it says, Set him not by thee, lest when he had overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place. Neither let him sit at thy right hand, lest he seek to take thy seat. And thou, and, and thou, and thou, at the last, remember my words, and be pricked therewith. So you remember, at the end of the day, is, is an enemy. There is an enemy, how could they pay him next day? How could they, because he will always have that hatred for you. And that is, what, that is what they have for us. Right? So how could we ever... Ever trust them? It does. It does. It make no sense. It say, "Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent, or any such as come nigh wild beast?" So you wouldn't pity a man who playing with a snake. Why? Because he playing with a wild beast. He playing with something that you know would bite him, or uh, something that that known to be aggressive and and bite. You wouldn't pity him. So I would pity someone that 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 want to be friend to the enemy. Right? It just would make no sense. Um, let me jump down a little bit. It says, An enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips, but in his heart he imagined how to throw thee into a pit. He will weep with, with his eyes, but if he find opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. It says, If adver adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first. And though, and though he pretend to help thee, he shall, yet shall he undermine thee. He will shake his head and clap his hands and whisper much and change his countenance. What the enemy? That is just an enemy. They hate you and they will continue to hate you. So I don't, don't Jake, Jake feel that you know a kumbaya moment, a, 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 a togetherness. It's it not going to happen because that is that is the enemy. They will always again that perpetual hatred that the scriptures talk about. 
they will hit you they will hit you forever and there's an enemy so why would they ever want to they, them being an enemy why would they ever want to to make any truth you know make anything good have good come to you it just wouldn't make sense right so at the end of the day never trust your enemy so with that we give all praises and on glory to Yahweh, Bashami Oshai, Bashami Kakodash. We said that when it's a person and others agree with us in the rule of our teachers, our pastors and shoot. And we say salutation, so the Akamas are pushing truth and say, Dean and the out. You know, constantly in season on season, we say, Shalom.